Well, I have got a live stream is now live note in the chat box. Great. <clears throat> so. Good morning. Um, this is the Street Trading Subcommittee on Wednesday, the 21st of April. Um, I'll just let our other person in from the lobby. Is that Alan Whittle? That is indeed me. So, um, my name's Helen Snell. I'm the Democratic Officer for today's meeting. Um, well, welcome. To, so, before consideration of today's business, I'm going to out polls for the meeting. Today is being live streamed to the public via Microsoft Teams and is also being recorded. When members are speaking, they may choose to use their video. If the council's live stream fails during the meeting and we cannot share the proceedings, the meeting will be adjourned so that access can be restored. If the issue cannot be resolved, the chairman will halt the meeting and the remaining business will be concluded at future date. If a member experiences a technical issue, the chairman will adjourn for a short period to try to re-establish their connection. As members are called to speak, the chairman will remind you to switch off your microphone should there be evidence. The vote will be taken today by roll call and I will announce the result. We have public representation today and they will be joining us by telephone. Where a member has declared a non-registrable interest, a disclosable pecuniary interest, or an interest by virtue of any trade union membership in a matter, they must leave the virtual meeting. Their departure will be confirmed and they will be invited to rejoin the meeting at the appropriate time. To confirm for today, members of the committee who wish to speak should indicate by using the raise your hand function. So before we start the business, I will just ask the committee members to confirm they are present and to state their electoral division. So, Councillor Lennox Boyd. Good morning, I'm Sheila Lennox Boyd, <coughs> represent Ash North. Thank you. And Councillor Luke? Uh, Councillor Matt Luke, uh, representing um, Penwithick and Bascop Ward. Thank you. And Councillor? Good morning, uh, John Martin, I'm Councillor for Helston South. Thank you, members. Before I ask officers, um, before I advise the officers present, I can just see that our applicant um, is waiting in the virtual lobby. So I'll just let him in and welcome him to the meeting. Sure. <coughs> Good morning, is that Mr. Peterson? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, speaking. Hello, um, my name's Helen Snell. I'm the Democratic Officer um, for the meeting today. We've just done um, the ins. Um, so okay. I'll just quickly advise you that we have um, online that have just introduced themselves. Um, right. Councillor Lennox Boyd, Councillor Luke and Councillor Martin. The officers right. we've got, the officers we've so, got who, who, today. Sorry, we haven't right. started the meeting yet. If I'd, I'll just okay. advise you who the officers are. Um, right, the officers okay. we've got today are Claire Green from Licensing. Right. Graham, Graham Bailey. Graham, could you switch um, directorate department you're from, please? Yes, good morning, everybody. My name's Graham Bailey. I'm the senior licensed compliance officer from communities and public protection. Great. Thank you, Graham. We haven't today. Sorry, we haven't. Right. Right. Somebody, somebody's um, live stream, so if they could um, mute themselves, um, that seems to be causing some interference there. Um, also today, um, we've got Kingsley Keat, our legal advisor. So moving on to the meeting now, to the agenda. Okay. Um, item one, um, we're going to um, right. call for election for chair of the meeting. So right. can I have nominations for chair, please? Could I propose Councillor John Martin? Thank you, Councillor Lennox Boyd. And um, do I have a seconder? Um, Councillor Matt Luke, I'm happy to second that. 
Thank you, Councillor Luke. So just a quick roll call to make it all um, official. Councillor Lennox Boyd? Four. Thank you. Councillor Luke? Four. Councillor Martin? Four. Over to you, Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. So welcome everybody to the meeting. I think um, we'll uh, just confirm we have Mr. Peterson here with us. Hello. Uh, yes, morning. Well, good morning. Um, Mr. Graham Bailey here this morning. Yes, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Graham. Um, we have Mr. Alan Whittle. Yes, I'm here. Hello, Alan. Well, welcome. Uh, sorry, I should call you Mr. Whittle already. I do apologize. Um, call me Alan. <laughs> sorry. So, Mrs. Tracy Glidden. Yes, morning. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Graham Bailey. Yes, good morning, everybody. So again, there's somebody got the uh, live stream on in there behind their phone. That's okay. So yes, I've got Mrs. Tracy Glidden. Could I could I just have that uh, response again, please? Hello, Chairman. It's Helen. It's Helen Snell here. I don't have any um, detailed participant list of anybody of anybody by that name at present. Oh. Okay, thank you. By paperless, yeah, so uh, that's okay. Thank you. So let, let's proceed. We have, um, uh, I don't know which, we, we had the election of chairman. We need to go to apologies for absence. Are there any apologies for to the House? And are there any declarations of interest, members? No, none, none chair. Very well. So the application for consideration point four of the agenda. One, Local Government Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1982, application for renewal and variation of a street trading concern. Mr. Des Pitson uh, of Woodall Products from Layby on the A3072. And the pages are 1 to 67 in, in the public document pack. So we need to go first of all, first of all, Mr. Pitson, I think you, you'll be allowed to put your case after the office has spoken uh, to put the case forward. Uh, then the members will have a chance to ask the officer any questions, and then you will have a chance to put your case forward for your application. So okay. can I ask uh, Claire Bailey, please, to put the case for the applicant? Thank you. <laughs> Chairman, it's Helen Snell from Democratic Services. Can I just quickly ask the applicant, um, Mr. Peterson, um, can I sure. just um, get you to confirm that um, you're aware you could have been represented? Because I know you're on a company, just to make sure you're aware of that. At present, I understand that, but um, I think in future, I might go down the list. It looks like it's going to be going that way, so because there's a lot of defamation character that's been chucked, in, chucked into this. So at, at, at present, I'm, I'm standing for myself, but I think in the future, uh, there's a chance that I might be okay. um, Thank taking you. legal just, advice. Just that you were aware that you could have been represented sure. today. Okay. So, um, I understand. Thank, thank you, Chairman. Um, over to you, Claire. <coughs> thank, thank you. you. This is an application for renewal of street trading consent for Mr. Des Peterson trading as Woodall products from a lay-by on the A3072 at Lawn Sales. During the consultation period, two objections were received from Lawn Sales Parish Council and Bude Stratton Town Council. These objections are contained within the report. Graham Bailey Licensing Appliance is in attendance today to provide members with information regarding complaints and the recent visit to the site. Members' options are to approve the application, defer the application, refuse the application, or approve the application with amendments. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Claire. <coughs> Mr. Mr. Pinson, I wonder if you, you, you have a, a few moments just to put your case <coughs> for, for, to, for your application for renewal. Thank you very much. Welcome this morning. Good morning. Hi. Um, OK, um, firstly, um, I don't, I'm not too sure if any of you know who I am and, 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 and I'm not too sure what paperwork you've got because um, licensing hasn't been 
very helpful towards me or you know i don't know whether it's deliberate or whether it's been incompetent i don't know and you'll have to decide that for yourself um but anyway um i i, I so i don't know what paperwork you seem to have 60 60 odd pages i've only got a little report um and i don't even have i don't even have a um the the, the um the preceding um documentation so I, I had a i had an email from claire before she went away um to say that that the morning but i've had no i, I haven't had the proceedings uh, uh, or anything so anyway um <clears throat> um yeah so in any case um I, I i think i should start from the beginning and, and try and explain myself why i'm in the lay by uh, um, Right, and I've said this from the get go. This has been going on and on and on every year around the same old mulberry tree. Um, um, <coughs> um, I, I chose this labour back in 2016. I've been in the area for 20 odd years, right? Doing what I do. So I haven't, I'm not spring chicken that just popped up this year or anything like that. Um, um, <coughs> I've chose this labour because, and I'll try and describe it to you, it's an enormous labour. Uh, uh, over three, it's about 300 meters in length. Um, one of the pictures, do you have photos that I sent? Um, um, so one, one, one of the photos is a Google image. You can see the size of the labor. I'm surrounded by fields. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not too sure whether, you, whether you've actually got those photos. And, <laughs> anyway, um, uh, this is, this is it's so to actually defend myself, um, you know, because, I don't, I don't know what you've got, and, and 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 this whole this whole report that I've got, we can I can tear it to pieces. It was there, there's so much in it which is false, and 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 misleading. <coughs> anyway, um, and and I'm trying to I'm trying to explain, um, I'm trying to explain what you know what the reason why I'm here. I'm here for my children, as I said, right from the get go. And this, I only come here for a few months of the year. And, and I'm going to have to try and slow down because, <clears throat> uh, yeah, and, and I do apologise if I if I get a bit steamed up. It's because I haven't had any sleep and it's been it's been you know it's, I've been awake since four o'clock this morning. Um, and so uh, take, Mr. Peterson, you take your time. So you take okay, your time. Right. Okay. So anyway, I'm trying to describe the lay-by. Uh, it's, it's an enormous lay-by. Um, there's no obstructions. Um, <laughs> it, it, I keep the thing. I keep the thing tidy. I, I'm forever picking up litter overnight. Litter just suddenly appears, but I'll, I'll pick it up. I keep it. I keep it attractive for for other road users to stop and stretch their legs and have a look at the carvings. And um, as I say, um, I get I get loads of people per day for the few months that I'm here. Every day I get 20 or 30 people giving me two thumbs up and, and making me feel welcome in the area. And never not as I said, I've been here for like 20 odd years. Uh, you know, so I'm most likely going to carry on until I drop. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, um, and people people come past and they say that you know when they see me in the springtime they say oh summer's arrived. This is what they tell me. Right? So it makes me feel good. It makes me feel welcome. Right? But uh, I can't help if there's one or two people like Alan Whittle. Right? He's, he's, I don't even know what his problem is. Right? To be honest, because he's <clears throat> he's I've looked I've looked at at the, at the objections. He strongly objects to what? I've tried to comply to everything. Right? I keep going back to 2020's hearing, right? Because I have to have a hearing every year, right? Which is unbelievable. I, I've got this, but I'm getting myself in a bit of a tangle here. <coughs> you bet. <That's> right. <coughs> anyway, so I need to, um, yeah. Um, it's just, I've been, I'm going to go back to, to the beginning. I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. I'm going to, to try and describe what's happened just this month, okay? I, that, that, I, that I set up, I set up shop beginning of this month, well, actually at the end of the at the end of of, of last month, uh, March. <coughs> I, I, I arrived and started setting up. <coughs> um, the next thing, um, I've been harassed uh, on the first. I saw Alan Whittle taking photos from the top of the of, on the other side of the road taking photos. Two hours later, he sent the police, right? So I, I, the police came, investigated my vehicle, uh, whether I was COVID, correct, um, everything. After half an hour, an hour chatting with him, 
uh, uh, with, 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 with a policeman, eventually is nodding his head, and the policeman's name, if you want to know, is PC Nick Sessor, with, and I've got his number here as well, if you want to know. He's from Beard, Beard Police Station. <clears throat> anyway, he was nodding his head in agreement, you know, that <laughs> it's just unjust. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm here because of last year, where I asked the whole year, right up until present, um, this in January, I asked for the recording because I disagreed with, with what Rajan Singh told me the consent was. I, I sent emails to Sarah Kent. I, I even asked um, Claire Green, who's there with me now. When she got back from maternity leave, I said, Claire, please, I need those, I need those, uh, I need the recordings. Uh, because that's all, if you listen to the recording, you'll know that I, I don't have, I've got, I've got, everyone at the hearing last year agreed with, agreed, all granted the hearing uh, uh, on the vehicles. It was in, the entire hearing was about the vehicles, right? Um, when I, when I set up, when I set up shop over here, um, in, in the beginning of this month, as I said, I, I was, I was harassed by, I was victimized by police continual uh, 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 licensing compliance teams rocking up, giving me a piece of paper. I hadn't seen, <laughs> I hadn't seen my children for nine months, right? And the next thing, because of COVID, um, so on the 12th, when I was, when I was, uh, you know, I, well, a few things, I've got, I've got three children, uh, two sons and a daughter, but my daughter and, and uh, on Easter weekend, I learned that I'm now a granddaddy, right? <laughs> And my daughter was over on the 12th when when licensing compliance came over after they phoned me right to say that i should take my things off, off the off the green right because um but i, I explained to them that <coughs> my son for, for was busy doing a um is, is busy doing, well i feel quite honored that he well, i'm just going to take a deep breath for a second can you, can you just bear with me while i have a sip of water <coughs> um, anyway uh, I do apologize. No, oh, you did take your time. Uh, thank you. Um, right. <clears throat> okay, so my son, my son was, was, uh, he, I, I feel honored that my son sort of chose me as a subject. For, he's busy doing this uh, final, he's doing his final major project. Um, for his level level two um, level yeah, level second year level three extended diploma in creative media, right? <coughs> bit of a mouthful, but still. Anyway, I feel I feel lucky that I feel fortunate that he's chosen me, right? And and that, that, that's exactly what any dad wants is that, that he's chosen me as a subject and he and he's filming my what I do for his diploma. This is, this is why I've got my things out there, and you, I'm sure. If, well, I hope that you got a photo of, of him actually filming. I, I can't, I can't, I, this is so difficult for me to defend because I don't know what you've got. I, I'm, I've, I've been left in the dock on numerous occasions. We'll go back to, I'll, I'll mention 2019 in a minute because it keeps going back to 2019, but I'll mention, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about that. All right, well, that's where I first met Alan Whittle. <coughs> right? Uh, the, reason, the reason why that one went so appalling for me was because was because Sarah Kent didn't inform me that that I had um, that there were any objections. I applied for in team. I applied for a variation. I applied and paid for the variation and um, to have the Bedford truck. I'm a sole trader. I'm a, I, everything is I'd be everything by myself. The name camp and yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's just it's just me doing my little my what I do a little thing, right? <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, um, this is, I'll do what I do. And, <clears throat> and Mr. Anyway, Peter, uh, Mr. Peter, can I just yep. stop you there? We've got our yep. uh, legal representative has got, has got his hand up a minute. Can I ask him to just uh, interject just for a second? You, you take a breather a minute. Okay, sure. All right, yeah, okay, sure. Thank you, Chair. I'm just wondering whether, uh, it's been mentioned a few times, he's not sure what papers we that, that you've got. Would you mind if I went through and just ensured that Mr. Peterson that we've got everything that we should have? 
Indeed, I was just about to do that myself. So Kingsley, would you please? That's very yeah. kind. Thanks. Mr. Pierce, and we've uh, we've met before on on this okay in this numerous times over the years. Um, okay. um, I um, obviously we have the main report, which is a document. Um, let's just go down to the bottom. It's it's 21 pages with appendices. Uh, the last thing being the report uh, with Sarah Kent's details. Um, there are photographs contained within that. Um, so I'm right. hoping you've got that one. Well, which, uh, which, photos, yeah. which photos do you have? Which well, I'm, do you I'm, have there's, there's, there's several appendices with a lot of photographs. So main report, there are photos that were submitted. Um, those are the ones submitted by the Lonsdale's Parish Council. Um, uh -huh. Right, well hang on because we've got lots of photos that you've submitted as well. So then we'll go to appendix appendix one. That is the actual um, consent that you yeah, you see, I don't seem to have that. I don't it's, it's just, just going to my papers here and I'm with them one, two, three, and I got my papers only go up to page thirteen. And 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 some of them are some of them are a few photos which Ellen Whittle sent in. Right? And 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 um so I've got three from Ellen Whittle, four photos from Ellen Whittle. Um and I don't know what photos you got on myself. I can, right, I can, wait, I'm I'm out, if you bear with me, I'm about to tell you. I mean, appendix right. one is the street trading, the license you were you were granted uh, last year. Then, no. then, we go okay. to, then we go to appendix two, which is photographs. Um, the, these are. Um, is this Sarah Kent's? Sarah Kent's or is this Alan Wood? Um, objections well, apparently. Two, three. I think those those are from from you, by the looks of it. There's five photographs. One of them showing the um, the showman's wagon lit up at night. Right. Yeah. And there's a uh, looks like a, a wolf or, or or some sort of uh, carving outside. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, done. Uh, showing the vehicles parked up. The, the beetle. The the uh, right. etc. Um, the yeah. next one, the next one refers, uh, it's got a picture of presumably you carving um, at a show. It's then got the photo okay. you, refer, the, right. you refer to, the one with the, um, the long, it's got uh, a lay by with the, the green. Right. Is, that, is that a Google image? Yes. Right, yeah. okay, so that's one of mine that I sent. So how many of mine, because I sent Sarah about 30 photos, how many yeah. of my photos have you got? Well, hang on. We've got one. We've got one of you carving. We've got that yeah. one with the lay-by. We've got one that yeah. shows uh, your your work. It's based uh, a bison's head. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
can, so, can so, you please tell me what the objections are? Because I can't go into Alan Whittle's um, um, apparently major objections in bold print. I can't actually determine what the problem is, right? Because well, he might say, oh, that it's an encampment and all the rest of it, and I've got these vehicles here. But I, the last year's hearing was entirely these vehicles, and yeah. I have not obstructed the road at all. Yeah. If, if, you, if you bear with me on that, Mr. Whittle will, is yeah. here. He will be uh, speaking after you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but the thing is, he's, he's receiving, he's taking bits and pieces. This whole report is actually taken over the five years, little bits and pieces so to, to yeah. create a misleading Mr. picture for you. Mr. Peterson, Mr. Peterson, I yeah. must stop you there. Um, uh, Mr. Okay. If we have all the um, representatives speaking uh, after you, priority. Okay. Um, Mr. Mr. Aaron Whittle will be speaking in a moment. Um, yeah, okay. So, so I haven't, I haven't sorry, if I can just clarify. clarify uh, Mr. Peterson, if I can just clarify, a street trading consent is, is an annual consent. You have to apply every year. And um, okay, hang on, hang on a second. I this is like I've got friends that have got that have got that have got li they've got licenses, and they are in a highly congested car park in this area, and, and, and there's up to seven there's up to seven competitors crammed into this car park. They can have their trailers in this car park. They've got three trailers that can that stay there for seven for, for all year round. Right? Their their renewal. Uh, their, their license is, is 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 renewed every two to three years, and this is how unjust it is. Uh, no, mine is no, they, they, I've got to go to. Hang on a second. Just can, hang on a second. And, and then so renewable every every two to three years. They they um public liability. They can take up to ten people into a treacherous sea, and um, and uh, and their public liability is five million. Mine is ten million, right? And the other thing is. Um, I've got to do this whole hearing thing all the time. Um, the other, um, the, the, I'm missing one point. I'm missing quite an um, uh, 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 So yeah, they, they've got three vehicles there, and um, all year, and and you know, uh, they and then they come with employers' vehicles. They come with they come with their own vehicles, but they've yeah, got those trailers stuck there all year round. Mr. 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 Pearson, this yeah. is a street trading consortium. Yeah, that was the street trading. The whole of Cornwall's roads have been designated as street trading. They yes, are I know. they are an annual, they are an annual renewal. So an annual renewal will have to be applied. It only goes to a hearing if if objections are, are received, okay. um, and therefore it may be that they're just getting it to, you know uh, renewed because no one's objecting to what they do and, and where they do it. Okay. Um, okay. But the, the but, but, but can you tell me can you tell me what the objections are, please? Um, right, because Alan Whittle, Alan Whittle takes little bits and snips sorry, from Mr. all five years and, and, and makes it out to be it's a complete misrepresentation that I'm, that I'm some sort of, I don't know, not complying with, with, with authority. Uh, and, 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 and uh, you know, it's, been, it's quite slanderous. With, you know, and I think but I might actually, well. Mr. Patterson, you, you've got the report, you've read the report, yes. the same as, as the yes. members have. At this stage, that's all that they yeah. have. Um, yeah, they and therefore, you, you will, this, this, uh, needing oxygen. listen, if you will wait, um, once you finish your representation, then Mr. Whittle yeah. will come in, then the licensing compliance officer will come in, and anyone else okay. that needs to speak, at which okay. time, uh, after yeah. all of that, you will have the final um sort of come back if you like to be able okay. to, uh, to address anything said so yes uh, so hopefully that you will you will hear from them as to what what their concerns are and then right. to take all of that on board and come back with the final submission so right. um i think I've, i think i've explained it as best as i can you just need to present your case and then right. wait okay. to listen to the others right. and then and then You'll get a final kind of go at the end. Uh, okay. Well, well, uh, yeah. I'm not going to bleat on about about how I am. I'll, later on, I'll you know who I am and what I am. I think you probably know who I am. But um, but anyway, um, I need to have all these vehicles. If you listen to the, if you could get your hands on that report on, on the on the consent on on the, on the hearing last year, because me coming back here was all about the vehicles okay so so and this is the reason i set up exactly as it was last year 
Right? I, I said, when I got back here, but I've been harassed, as I said, by, by all of but, but and I'm still, I'm still, it, it, it's an, an eyesore to, to some people. This is, this is a labor on these vehicles, right? So some other pen technician might park up here or a tractor or whatever. Uh, is that not an eyesore? And what about, you know, there's other things that are obstructing, uh, obstructing the, um, the sea view, uh, you know, there could be, if you go, if you have a look in view, view is, is, you know, the past few years has just burst out with with these static homes and houses, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in green fields. And here I'm being accused of, of of being an eyesore in the in the countryside when I've got a 1950s brayshaw showman's wagon and and sculptures that people stop to look at and they find they they they, they are only good toots and and thumbs up and people really making me feel welcome. Right, because I was I was invited at the Dutchie through the Dutchie to the Cornwall show for at least ten years, right? Um, um, and this all this is listening to that other councillor from Bude and Stratton that was inquiring about my chainsaw license. Now the thing is, I have I have got a license because I would never have been able to do um, the, the, the demonstration in the Royal Cornwall show in the arena, right, without a license, right? They, for ten years. They, 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 they invited me, right? Um, and, and in any case, I can give you some names. Um, Darren from, me, or otherwise, you can speak to Ian Davies from the Forestry Commission. Um, he's he's likely. Uh, <coughs> anyway, um, I, 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 I say clean environment. I'll pick up all the litter. I'm forever picking up litter here, as I said, right? You'll find an attractive, an attractive, <laughs> Labour, yeah, right. Th th that thanks to me, right. I, I, this isn't an ideal labour, but it's, it's because of the, because of the gradients that I've, I am, um, I've, I've developed it. You know, but I've, I've managed to work around the gradient by putting decks out and you know, and trying to you know, trying to do the best that I can. Um, cut the grass and keep it keep it attractive. Pick up the litter, and, and there's no obstruction. There's no problem from police. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say. <coughs> It's I, I approached Sarah Kent, as I said, the whole year, right? The hearing was on the 1st of July. On the 2nd of July, I started, I started asking for, um, for, for, for the recording, or, 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 uh, uh, but, but nothing could come up, as I said. And then I, then, <laughs> so I said, well, Sarah, I need to speak to you, right? So I, she gave me a number, I spoke to her, and she said, Mr. Peterson, these are her words. No one's got a problem with you. Highways hasn't got a problem with you. Police hasn't got a problem with you. No one's got. No one's going to tell you to move. Right? Carry on. They kept taking the licensing. Kept taking up my, my my fees every month. Bearing in mind this was July, August, September, and October. In only four months, they took, took the license, took took the, took the fees, uh, 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 and uh, every month I asked whether there were any any objections, any any uh, complaints. Nothing at all. Nothing. Right. Not, not till now, till, 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 I, till I rocked up. But I'm still trying to work out exactly what is, because on the strength of last year's hearing, <laughs> I, I, I'm set up shop, right? <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Anyway, Peterson, Mr. Um, Peterson, can I just, yeah. can I just, I think you've, you've presented your case very well. well. We'll get to specifics in a minute. Can I just okay. ask you, right. um, <laughs> The renewal on the on the on the current uh, or the previous version. Uh, um, uh, there's the yes. idea of variation as well. Is the variation be trading consent? Can you just explain uh, um, what. Okay. Uh, I, I need these vehicles, and that was what the whole hearing last year was about. I need all these vehicles, and and the variation in 2000 was just so that I could extend the hours. Of the best, but instead of because I'm because I'm all by myself operating independently, uh, I, I, it's difficult for me to move from A to B to collect the vehicles or drop vehicles off. Now everything is in use. I use I use that vehicle. So all that that variation that I applied for was just for a few more hours between 10 o'clock in the evening and 7 o'clock in the morning because that was that was the big hoo ha. You can't have it here between 10 o'clock in the evening. And, and seven o'clock, like it's some sort of a monster that's going to come and attack people or something like that. I don't know. Thank you. Um, we, we, so I was on the committee last year. Um, okay. But we, we referred to the vehicles going into storage somewhere. Into, into we in storage. Nothing is in storage. Nothing is in storage. Everything is being used all of the time. 
right? If it was in storage, it wouldn't be here. I'd leave it at Launceston. Okay. Which is 16 miles away from here. And uh, we were saying that if you could have found somewhere else to store it nearer to the, the lay by. No, there's nowhere nearer. Nowhere no, nearer. That's, this is why I chose this lay by specifically because it's because because it's 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 away from houses. It's it's, it's out in the countryside, it, it, and and it's 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 not a hundred percent ideal. But I've worked around the gradients and other little things. Okay, I'm not going to go into this one. No, thank you very much. That's fine. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, I'll just ask now the the, the other uh, members. Can I, did, I, did I mention did I mention the size of this labour? It's, it's it's like coming onto 300 meters, and there's in no. I use a tiny little bit at the bottom of the labour, and and the, the rest of the labour is enormous. It's, it's enough room for everybody. As I said, there's no there's no obstructions. Yeah, we, we're all we're yeah. all aware of the labour. We all know it very well. Um, oh, okay, good. All three of the members have been on this this, this committee for this application before. So we're, okay, we're, we're well aware of you. Um, Thank you. I've got a, a question from uh, Councillor Lennox Boy. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, Mr. Peterson. Just to put your mind You're at welcome. ease, I have 42 pictures of the application of, of two, which is yours, and also the uh -huh. Google Earth picture as well. So we've got all that, and we do right. know thank you. the, the right. and, and we know your background. So. Calm down because, okay. you know, right. we look at everything okay. in front of us. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. The, the thing is, I know, I know I got all hot and I get hot under the collar, but, but the thing yeah, is, I have, so been, I have been attacked. We, we have met you, Mr. Peterson. Can you okay. just explain to refresh me why yes. you need the, I think, is it five vehicles that you're trying for the very end? Right. Could you explain? Okay. okay. Look, the thing is, the Bedford and the Showman's Wagon. They, they they come under the same registration, right? The Bedford, the Bedford, I use the crane um, to lift the logs. Uh, there's, there's an there's an air there's an air airline which I use to clean my tools. Um, I use, as I say, I need chainsaws to do a lot of my work. It's all based on chainsaws, but I do use other tools like grounders and sanders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, you know, I've, I've got a I've got a I've got a ton of a ton of tools, but I keep it all neat and tidy. In I've got another trailer that's that's got the, the Arthur Williams and, and the camper is 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 um, other other vehicles um, which which I need. That that's four, but plus a vehicle which is five. Well, I don't know. But the and thing, in any case, I'm just, I'm just answering what the lady says. Sorry, I'm talking to is, a witness that's with me. Hello, Mr. Peterson. Also a V and, and a VW. Yes, a VW Beetle. Yes, yes. And it's uh, been like which a is private. Necessary well, it's, it's necessary for me to be able to get into town to get to get my to get my food and and and, and supplies. Yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that I need to get in and out with. Yeah, because I can't take I can't take the, the I can't take the Bedford into Tesco's or, or, or to, to Morrison's, and I can't uh, you know the camper the camper is is my is my running hot water, and I, I go up to the this is if you if you if you get your hands on the on the on the on the hearing lot, you all you would know that that, that the camper is vital. Bit of, uh, I don't have the Ibiza anymore. That, that, that got scrapped back in 2017, right? But, but so the, the camper replaced, replaced the, the Vico. It's my running hot water where I get water and I do the water R and R up at, at Red Post <coughs> campsite. Um, so, and I remember you having children as well. Have you still got the children living with you or no? Is no, they don't. No, 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 they don't. No, 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 they, no. They stay with their mother. They don't live with me. Yeah, my, my, my daughter, my daughter who who as earlier on, my daughter, my yeah. daughter came over with her grand, with now my, with now my grand uh, daughter. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was on 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 the on the twelfth when when Larson okay. and Klein came up with with the, with, the, with the paper, right? So they don't live with me; they live with their mother and and that, and, 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 and my son. Yeah. I, 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 Thank I, you, Mr. This is, this is this is me operating entirely by myself. Absolutely. Thank you very much Thank for the you. explanation. Does it make any sense? Thank you. Do yeah. you need to make any more questions? Much. Okay, you're well, welcome. I'm just wondering, I'll ask Councillor Luke whether you have any questions for Mr. Peterson. Uh, no, Councillor. Uh, Lennox Boyd asked the questions I was going to ask, so yeah, all, all happy, yeah. And, I, I, and I'm just to put um, this uh, mind at rest, 
I've also sat yeah. on this committee once before, so I know all the background as well. So don't, you know, calm down, don't panic. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you don't have to go to the hearing every single year oh, uh, over and over and over oh. again. <laughs> That, that, that's a matter of debate because I have been through it twice before, so there we are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, that's the nature of street trading uh, licenses. I'm yeah. afraid, Mr. Peterson. Well, uh, it's but, but okay, then we can go back to the objections because I can't see what is the major objection that Alan Whittle, Alan Whittle's obviously got a pro problem with me. Well, I'd like to hear what, what exactly he's got because everything that he's saying here is misleading. Uh, and, 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 and it's a misrepresentation and, 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 and not 100% true. You, you may have taken little, yeah. yeah. Thank, so thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll be interested to, see, to hear what you've got to say. To Mr. Beeson, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll make a judgment from what Mr. Mr. Whittle will be saying, because uh, he's okay. going to So I'm going to call All on right. Mr. Whittle first, then um, we haven't got Mrs. Glidden, but, and then uh, Mr. Graham Bailey. So can I ask uh, Mr. Alan Whittle, Please, are you are you uh, on online with us, Alan? Please. Yes, I hope you can hear well, me. Can you hear yes, me, can. Alan? If you could put your case, please. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. And since we're being formal, it's actually Dr. Whittle. I'm a scientist. Oh. One of my skill sets was present data in a clear, accurate data in a clear way. Yes, thank you. Um, I am representing Lawnsville Parish Council as chair of that parish. I have been given a mandate by the Parish Council to object formally. Uh, for the benefit of your legal officer, um, I have had nothing to do with any police action here. And if you wish to challenge, uh, to chase that up, I'm sure the recordings of any police phone calls will not include me. All my communications have been with the licensing team. As I so put that to bed. Um, the objection we have is that Mr. Peterson repeatedly breaks the terms of his license to trade. The document I sent you shows that in April 18, he was granted a license to trade under certain conditions. He ignored the terms of these conditions and kept all these vehicles on site at all times. Photographs of this were sent to licensing. In September 19, he was asked for a variation in the consent to retain other vehicles. This was refused. He ignored that licensing um, ruling and kept his vehicles on site at all times. Last year, he was again granted a license to trade under the original term, the showman's caravan and the Bedford track during the day. That was the terms of the license. He ignored the terms of those licenses and kept his vehicles on site at all times. Photographs were taken and sent to licensing. Therefore, the issue we have is Mr. Peterson repeatedly breaks the terms of the license he was granted. This is now putting the license in an extremely difficult legal position. Because if, he, if his license is renewed as for last year, any reasonable ter person, and I use that term in the legal sense, any reasonable person will expect Mr. Peterson to break the terms of that license. And that will put the licensing team in a very, very difficult position. So that is our objection. It is the same as last year. If Mr. Peterson stuck to the terms of his license, i.e. the showman's caravan and the Bedford truck during the day, we would not have an objection as we said last year. Unfortunately, Mr. Peterson breaks the terms of his license every year and therefore we have to object. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Dr. Whittle. Um, that's very clear. Thank you very much. We can now move on to um, Mr. Graham Bailey, our Senior Licensing Compliance Officer. Uh, Graham. Yes, good morning, everybody. Um, just by way of a little bit of background, I, although I'm a senior officer for the license compliance team, I haven't had any direct um, interventions um, with Mr. Peterson or the issues, but obviously overseen it with, with some of my, my officers. The, the main officer who has been dealing with Mr. Peterson over the years is, has now taken retirement. And I was 
um, approached by Sarah Kent, the senior licensing officer for the East, um, to prepare a, a report of the background from a licensed compliance point of view. That report is, is um, included in the uh, in the actual bundle itself. Um, but if I may just read it out to you, because I think it clearly paints a picture from a historic point of view, and then I can just add a few little bits uh, from my own. So um, the facts as I understand them to be are that the street training consent with conditions attack had previously been granted to Mr. Peterson for some years now. Conditions allow Mr. Peterson to use some of his vehicles in conjunction with the running of his business, but only at certain times. Soon after consent was granted and trading commenced, the licensing team received complaints from local residents generally centred around the activities in the lay-by, his vehicles parked within it and the use of power tools. The common theme being that the operation itself was an eyesore. Advice was duly given to Mr. Peterson regarding chainsaw safety and safe workings. Another complaint was received in regard to one of Mr. Peterson's vehicles having to be secured, sorry, securely positioned in the lay-by by the use of wooden chocks so as to prevent its movement due to the lay-by's gradient. This matter was referred to the Council's health and safety team. In July 2017, an allegation was received by licensing that Mr. Peterson was selling motor vehicles or a vehicle from the lay-by, items of which are not on his consent. The matter was investigated and an advisory letter was sent to him requesting that he desisted from such vehicle sales. The team then continued to receive general complaints about the eyesore issue within the lay-by and as a result of these complaints, an officer from the licensing compliance team allocated a considerable amount of their time and resource by spot checking the lay-by. Over a period spanning from May to October 2017, the officer made a total of nine visits and gave continued verbal advice to Mr. Peterson regarding his street trading activity. However, it must be noted that there were no major breaches. When further allegations were made by complainants that Mr. Peterson's vehicles were not being moved off site, as is a requirement at the time, or were causing an obstruction in the lay-by, the licensing officer again intervened and instruction, instructed Mr. Peterson to remove or relocate, for instance, one of his vehicles. On another occasion, Mr. Peterson explained to the officer that he had only left the lorry there for one day and that it did not remain after close of business. In October 2020, the issue of obstruction was the subject of a series of photographs being provided to the council by one of the complainants. But having studied the photographs, the evidence of obstruction was not conclusive on the images supplied. The council has never received a complaint from any other road users regarding obstruction in which they could not enter or exit the lay-by. Also, the complainant provided photographs of vehicles in the lay-by to support an allegation that vehicles were being left in the lay-by in breach of the street trading consent. These photographs are attached for reference. So, that is of, it would appear non-compliance with the, which still exists, condition 16, uh, that some of the vehicles, or at least one of the vehicles, should be moved. Now, it must be noted that our enforcement um, over the COVID period, and this is not an excuse, it's just it's just a fact of, of our council enforcement, that obviously due to COVID, we were very on what we went out to investigate, and a lot of it was COVID related. So for the, from the period of about this time last year, up until very recently, we hadn't actually done any spot check in, in that area at all with regards to Mr. Peterson's 
activities, so I can't comment on, on that period. But, but quite recently, we, um, we have received uh, further complaints that Mr Peterson up uh, before his street uh, training consent for this current year had, had been granted. And the concern from the complainants was that it would appear that he was setting up his goods for, for sale. Uh, some of my officers uh, did a, a spot check inspection and did notice that um, there are a lot of cars on display. Uh, but Mr Peterson did explain to the officers that I asked to visit that, that they weren't actually being sold. Uh, they were just being displayed. His son was taking the photographs uh, for a project that he was doing, which Mr Peterson has quite clearly already explained to you. That, that in conclusion is the report from, from the licensed compliance team. Uh, we have uh, tried to adopt a graduated approach we feel that perhaps it, it would not have been in the public interest to prosecute Mr Peterson for a breach of his conditions because it could be argued that it's a technical breach, um, but whether or not that is something that the committee would consider with regards to that particular condition. Um, as I said, we have had no other complaints with regards the health and safety issues, the chainsawing, um, as far as I'm aware, we've had no environmental health issues with regards to the deposit of rubbish or anything like that. Um, it is purely the complaints that we've received from the local parish councils, etc. Um, so that concludes the licensed compliance um, report. And unless I can be of any further assistance by way of answering any further questions. Hello. Right. Yes. Thank, thank you, uh, Graham. Um, I must admit, I, I, I made a faux pas. I did not allow uh, other members to ask uh, Dr. Whittle any questions after uh, his moment. Um, so, could I do that first before we ask the members to see if there's any questions for uh, for Graham Bailey? Absolutely. So are there any questions for 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 Dr. Whittle? Selena Boyd, Chair, I'm fine with Mr. Whittle and much for a very comprehensive explanation. Thank, Thank you, you, but I'd like to speak afterwards. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. And uh, Councillor Luke, have you got any questions for Dr. Whittle? No, I, I'm quite happy with this. With this um, sorry, froze there a minute. Um, yes, yeah, no, I'm quite happy. I've, I've no questions for him. Thank you. Um, also, so, with uh, Graham, I'm quite happy with his explanation as well, and I've got no no questions for him. Also, thank you, Councillor. Councillor Lennox Boyd, have you got any questions for uh, Graham Bailey? Yes, I do. If I'm a chair, please. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, Graham, as well for a very well explained situation. I wonder if you could tell me just a little bit, patience. In the May to the October in 2017, where there were nine visits and no major breaches, would the breaches have been complained about the evening time? Uh, and was there any evening visits or were these just during the days, actually as office hours? As far as I'm aware, yes, as far as I'm aware, councillor, um, the visits were um, made throughout various times during normal working hours um, by the officer and um, as far as I'm aware uh, it was purely directed at the fact that uh, apart from the chainsaw incident and the gradient which was resolved um, it was mainly to do with the vehicles that have been left there overnight. That she, as far as I'm aware, the officer, as I said, who's now retired, didn't actually witness those vehicles there in the evening. It was purely based on complaints received. But nobody, so it was in working hours that any any sort of visitation was to this site? As far as I'm aware, yes. But before the before my officer retired, I asked him to prepare a report uh, to as to his actions, which which he did, and then I based my report on on his. As I'm aware, if if he'd been operating outside of normal working hours, he would have had to have got my 
for me from a lone working point of view. Um, so, and I can't recall him doing that. Okay, much. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Graham. Thank you so much. Um, at this point, are there, are there any uh, comments from our legal officer at all? Um, no, I don't think so, Chair. I just think I will point out that the license in 2020 that was issued on the 2nd of July only ran until the 31st of October 2020. Uh, in effect, the seasonal license. Um, I know uh, Mr. Patterson referred to the fact that he, he, he thought he was going to trade again away under those conditions, but clearly there was no license to allow him to do so. And it is an annual renewal, as I've already said. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that concludes the um, re reporting uh, from the different um, personnel within within this meeting. I can now uh, return to um, Mr. Peterson to see if he can do a summing up on, on some of the points that were made by other people this afternoon. Uh, if you could yeah, I can. refer to that and sum up your uh, application. After, after your summing up, we'll then we mm -hmm. ask everybody to retire so we can look at the, discuss the matter with our legal officer. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Peterson, please, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, firstly, uh, going back to this, to the notes. Uh, this is uh, this. Um, I don't know what you call these notes, but it's the same paper that you got, I think, uh, and where. Um, coming from Alan Whittle saying he's, he objected, saying Mr. Peterson has repeatedly broken the terms of his granted license for at least three years, at least the last three years, and can be expected to do so again. Not true, and I, I, I say that that's defamation of character because he's, he's slanging me there. Um, once again, what, what is, you know, well, this whole thing, right, what he's saying um, about the vehicles and, and being an eyesore, um, well, let's, get, let's stick on with, with, with what he's saying here. Condition 16, um, well, Vico, um, so point three, and okay, in, two, in 2000, uh, unfortunately, okay, down the bottom there it says, unfortunately, Mr. Peterson ignored these terms and kept all of his vehicles here all of the time. I need, I need to have that, I need to have the Bedford, as, as you know, uh, I need to, uh, that's part of, part of my business. I need to have the Bedford here. Um, for during the day and then in the evening, well, because I'm all, all by myself, and then this is where I'm hoping that you'd understand, and this is where, where I applied for, for, for the variation, was to keep it just for those few hours um, overnight because it's so difficult for me to, to it's nothing's in storage, I'm using it all the time, right? And, and this is where, this is, once again, this is where I find it's so unjust that I'm hearing every year, right? And um, um, anyway, going back to, to um, uh, Mr. Whittle's stories, yeah, um, we've taken he's taken little bits, bits and little bits and pieces from all the years, and sort of, sort of tried to try to create uh, an, an image that 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 is not that is not um, true. Um, any reasonable person, that's defamation of character, right? Any, and <laughs> uh, um, an encampment, uh, well. <laughs> It's not in company. This is only this is only me. This is what I need. This is my little business operation out in the countryside. Uh, this might you know this, this might be um, from from April to October. Um, um, and and anyway, there's there's uh, you know this might be a foregone conclusion that you 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 decided you know well you you're gonna whatever. But anyway, the thing is. It's, a, it's I need to have these vehicles, all of them for, for from April to, and it looks like you know do I have to have do I have to have this hearing every year. I, I don't know. I mean, I've had to have it since 2017, um, and, and 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 this whole report is bits and pieces that's been tucked together from 2017, and we can go through it. Um, we can go through it. We've got time. Let's go through it. 2017. Let's go through. So 2000, the first time I met Alan Whittle was in, was in 2019, as I said, when, when Sarah Kim didn't inform me that there were any objectors, and that's why it was such an appalling hearing for me. 
right? So I, I was standing up there. She had to give me, when I'm standing up facing, facing the members, um, she had to give me um, her paperwork for the, for, for the, for the, for the, you know, for the, for the, for the hearing. And, and I was thrown completely off, 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 uh, off guard. Um, and, and, and at that stage, Alan Whittle was complaining about um, my gazebo. Um, I saw sites, the water, this, that, all sorts of things. Right? Any, anyhow, anyway, um, um, it's just been, it's, you know, it's been, there's no <coughs> real problem here. Uh, other than other than Alan Whittle, and there might be one or two people that start me for whatever reason, but I can't help them. But I can give you for everyone. I can give you a thousand locals who support me. Uh, at, at, in, back in 2017 or 18, I had I had a, um, a petition signed up by hundreds of locals. And that's I mean, if any of you were there present then, um, you you you'd remember that. Um, <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, basically, I'm applying to have all these vehicles here, which is not causing any obstruction. It's a huge lay-by from April to October, and 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 that's what I'm applying for. So, you know, and, and I, 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 with everything, with everything, I try my utmost to be, a, a, you know, a compliant citizen. Does that make any sense? I don't know because it yeah. sounds like I'm talking to a brick wall. No, no. I Okay. Um, that's, that's been very clear. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I apologize if I got all steamed up in there, but this, 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 it's, it's very important to me, and 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 this report is is misleading, right? There's, as I said, there's loads of it. I've highlighted sections here which I can go through. There's little bits from 2017, 2018, 2019. Uh, they keep going. It's, everything's just little bits, snippets, all chucked in to to come to make a, a one big pot of Nonsense, to be honest. Confusion. Thank you, Mr. Uh, 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 I've, I've got uh, Councillor Lennox Boyd that has a question for you. Sure. Thank, thank you, Chair, and thank you, Mr. Peterson, for your time. Can I ask? Okay, uh, uh, you do April to October. Do you leave the country, or do you move? Uh, I don't think. You know, do I don't think. I don't think that's relevant for 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 this for this hearing. Um, uh, is it is it is it relevant for this hearing? I ask you. I don't know, Chair. Is it is it relevant? Just to ask, where do you keep your equipment when you're not using it? Really, was to find if there are other alternative to store equipment. Really, Chair. I think that's what my uh, questions were getting to. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, well, I can answer. So rather than you take your equipment anywhere you are in this world, you must store it somewhere. Um, is, is that is that is that uh, reasonable to ask? Yeah, hundred percent. That's that's that's, that's uh, I've, I've got a there's a yard that I rent in in Launceston, um, where where if, if, which is 16 miles from here, but it's not it's not ideal for me to work from here because this is how I trade. So I can I can I can store stuff there, but it's no use me storing if I'm using the Bedford, which seems to be the headache. I I, I need the Bedford here for various reasons. Right, and and, and and it's too far for me to go to Launceston and back, and and still run the business because I did it all by myself. Can you, you know, that, how, how, can that, I, that, how can I do that? I'll, you know, otherwise that, I'll be going up and down, up and down. Yeah, that, that's that, perfectly that, clear. That, thank you, Mr. Peterson. That answers my question. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Councillor Luke, have you got any questions to ask, uh, Mr. Peterson? Uh, finally. Uh, yeah, just one. I mean. I know you've got the Bedford, et cetera, et cetera, and you've got your camper van, and now you've got uh -huh. a Volkswagen Beetle as well. Um, I've had the Beetle. The Beetle's been here right from the get-go, right from 2016. I've had the Beetle. Okay. The same, oh. I've had exactly the same vehicles. All right. I, I'm not, not. Yeah, I must have forgotten that one. That was all right. I was just, I was just wondering why you, you know, why you can't use the camper van to go back and forth, um, and and why you have to have an, an, another vehicle as well other than the camper van, because um, I know, yes, fun, fair enough, going back and forth in in the Bedford is one thing, um, which I do, right, wouldn't yeah. expect you to anyway, but yeah. I can't really see well, a reason why you well, can't go back and forth okay. in the camper because, van. Because, right, I'll tell you why, because uh, in season, in season, it is, it's, it's, it's extremely busy. So, so uh, it's, as you know, Butte gets in the season, coming into season, 
it gets extremely busy. And I, for me to maneuver this big camper and and to to, to to the parking, it's always a problem for parking. So I need I need the bed. I, I've got these vehicles. All what I've got the tools. I've got tools. I'm not a spring chicken yet, right? Because what I do is I've been doing this for blinking 20 odd years, and I'm knocking onto 60. I, I don't deserve to have the sort of the sort of slanges treatment to be honest um, um anyway getting back to the car um the beetle i needed to get from a to b and nipping around if you know if i have to go and if i get groceries etc cetera, etc cetera, which i said right in the beginning and or if i need to go and, or if i need to go and see my children um you know which is uh, in launston for whatever reason i can it's, it's a lot easier to go down the, down the country lanes with a with a beetle rather than rather than with a great big camper van which takes up the the um you know the, the single lane Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, 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 Legal representative, Kelly Keith, would, would have you anything, any questions to ask uh, at, at the moment or comments to make, please? Oh, no, Chair. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Mr. Peterson, thank you so much. Uh, you've been very clear and very helpful this afternoon. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Hill as well for attending and, and Graham as well, uh, bless you. We'll, we'll need to go in now to uh, go into a private session to uh, talk with our legal representation to make a decision. Um, okay. uh, so we will ask you, uh, Helen, are you there to instruct uh, those to, to, to leave, please? Thank you, Chairman. Yes, Helen Snell, Democratic Services. <clears throat> Before we go into our private session, um, I will read out the reasons why we need to go into private session, then we will take a vote. We will then ask um, everyone to leave other than the members and the legal representations. Um, I will then ask the licensing officer to return to hear the decision. Um, everybody else on the call can hear the decision via the live stream and our licensing officer Claire Green will advise everybody as soon as the decision has been made and the meeting has ended. So if I can um, go into sort into private session please. Um, in accordance with the Local Government Act 1972 as amended, the press and public be excluded from the meeting during consideration of the following business on the grounds that they would be likely to involve the disclosure of exempt information of the following description information in respect of which a claim to legal professional privilege could be maintained in legal proceedings and that the proceedings apart from the resolution shall remain confidential. Can I have a proposal please? I propose that for the chair. Thank you Councillor Martin and a seconder? Uh, Councillor Matt Luke, Thank happy to second. Thank you Councillor Luke. So go to a roll call. Councillor Lennox Boyd? Four. Thank you, Councillor Luke. Four. And Councillor Martin. Four. Thank you. So if I could now ask um, everybody on the call to leave, please. Thank you. Julie. Um, am I supposed to go as well? I don't understand.
Hey, welcome back to the Street Trading Committee. Um, the live stream is now live again. Um, first of all, please, until I hand over to you, Chairman, can I just get a seconder that we go back into public session, please? Okay. So, can I have a proposer? Also, I suppose we go back into public session, uh, Councillor Luke. Thank you, Councillor Luke. And a seconder? And I'll, I'll do that one from the chair. Lovely. Thank you, Councillor Martin. Quick roll call, please. Councillor Lennox Boyd? Four. Thank you. Councillor Luke? Four. Thank you. Councillor Martin? Four. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. So we uh, we have a, a, a long discussion. Um, uh, we have come to a decision, and I will invite um, uh, Kingsley Kate to uh, read out uh, the, this decision. Thank you. Okay, Chair. I will read out the proposal, uh, which then you will obviously vote on as uh, as a resolution. So the proposal is this: arising from consideration of the report, the evidence, and submissions from all parties have in regard to the Cornwall Council street trading policy that the application for the renewal and variation of a street trading consent from Des Peterson trading as Woodall products at the lay-by on the A3072 Long Sales be granted with the following amendments to the street trading standard conditions. Condition 16 shall be amended as follows. The standard condition states any any stall vehicle used for the purposes of street trading shall not remain on site outside the hours stated on the consent shall be amended to allow three vehicles to remain overnight. The vehicle shall be limited to the showman's wagon, Bedford lorry and trailer used in association with the street trading. The mobile home and VW Beetle were considered <coughs> not to be necessary street trading to take place and therefore fall outside of this. In addition, all the other conditions that were applied in relation to the consent issued on the 2nd of July 2020 shall remain. Members noted the submissions from the applicant that he needed to leave other vehicles in the lay-by so as to allow him to be able to trade. Members also heard from a representative from Long Sales Parish Council Members know which council did not have an issue with the showman's caravan or the applicant operating from the lay-by, but have major concerns regarding other vehicles being kept in the lay-by by Mr. Peterson in contravention with previous consents. Members noted that the representations and other matters set out in the report before them, but also noted that no representations has been received from highways, environmental protection, health and safety, or the police in respect to the application. Members were reassured by the applicant, particularly regarding the disposal of waste, including grey waste, which was disposed of at a local campsite. Members also noted that the applicant stated that he picked up rubbish in the lay-by and kept the area tidy. The members were shown photographs that showed that the lay-by was still capable of being used by other large vehicles, and it was felt that providing the applicant parks his vehicles in a manner to the satisfaction of the highways authority as per condition 22, then the issues that they would cause are minimal. Members were therefore of the, of the view that the applicant would not cause a significant inconvenience to other users of the lay-by. The applicant is however reminded that this question was for the renewal of his and variation of his existing street trading conditions and does not give him permission in respect of any other legislation such as planning or highways and any such issues that may arise in relation to these matters will be considered as appropriate by the relevant authorities. Taking all the influence into account, members felt that it was reasonable and proportionate to grant the application for, for the renewal and variation subject to the conditions. The committee, the sub, sorry, the, the subcommittee do, do not consider that the mobile home or Volkswagen Beetle should form part of this application and therefore the parking of them is not considered relevant for this application. Whether or not the siting of the mobile home or the Volkswagen Beetle in the lay-by contravenes other legislation should not be a concern for the street trading committee. However, the applicant is reminded 
that the granting of the street trading consent does not make him exempt from any other legislation that may apply. The applicant is reminded that it is his responsibility to comply with all the terms of the consent and is not permitted to sell or display for sale items outside the period of the consent and failure to do so may result in this consent being reviewed or other being taken against him. That is the proposal, Chair. Thank you, Kingsley. Um, we have a proposal, members. Um, would someone wish to put the proposal forward, please? I'm, ha I'm happy to, Chair. Sheila Lennox Boyd, happy to propose. I'm Thank happy you. To, I'm happy to second, Chair. Councillor Matt Lee. Thank you, members. Um, <coughs> Helen, would we like to do a, a, a roll call, please, on that proposal? Thank you, Chairman. So this is for the decision as read out by our legal advisor with conditions that's been proposed and seconded. Um, Councillor Lennox Boyd? Four. Thank you. Councillor Luke? Four. And Councillor Martin? Four. That's all agreed, thank you. Thank you indeed. Um, well, that concludes that part of the application of uh, the agenda point four point five is any other business that the chairman considers to be of urgency there is none um so i can call the meeting clo to close at 1309 uh on uh, this afternoon so thank you all for attending thank you all for your diligence um hope to see you next time thank you very much right. we'll, we'll thank see you, chairman. you i'll just now go and five stream is ended thank you Thank you.